I think there is a serious risk of injustice being perpetrated here uh, and we know the clumsy management that there has been in the Home Office uh, for a long time. Uh, it was something I did my best to try and clear up when I was there but this system is not perfect and we need justice to be done and right now we're not confident that the case is being made to the right people at the right speed and that is what now needs to happen. 75 year old woman, I mean for heaven's sake. So only the Tories could have twisted this. When we published the strategy, the enforcement strategy back in 2007 for the hostile environment, the people that we had in the crosshairs were people traffickers. The strategy that was being published um, in, entailed us signing the Convention on uh, Trafficking and Human Rights for the first time. That was something I drove through. And what we wanted to do is to redirect the enforcement part of the Home Office towards tackling the people traffickers who caused this human misery in the first place. The Tories then take this phrase and actually aim it at migrant communities. So they twisted and perverted actually a strategy that I thought at the time was the right thing to do because it was about taking on organised crime for the first time. When I was Immigration Minister, I basically was brought in to try and fix a system that was labelled not fit for purpose. And what we therefore tried to do is bring justice to a system that was broken. So that's why we doubled the pace of um, granting asylum applications. We significantly lifted the proportion of people who were granted asylum. We tried to create a system that operated in line with the basic principles of British justice. The Tories, I'm afraid, over the last 10 years have just tried to take a sound bite and aim it, weaponise it, if you like, to take on some of the most vulnerable communities who make the most significant contribution here to uh, us in communities like ours. Um, so I'm afraid that's what you get with a Tory government. That's why we've got to get rid of them. Mm -hmm. Gerbix has been a, sh a shining example of the kind of community life that makes our place special. That has got to be recognised, but crucially, it's about speedy justice. If you're an MP here in Birmingham, you know how long it takes to fight these cases. And frankly, that inaction has been the biggest source of injustice in this poor lady's case. I, I do hope that she is able to stay in, t in line with the basic justice, which I think should characterise our immigration system, and which I'm afraid seems to have gone missing in action under this government.